In 1983, Bill McGinnis helped shape our fundamental understanding of biology with the discovery that genes which regulate embryonic development are identical in different animals, from worms to flies to mice and humans. Today, he is Dean of Biological Sciences at UC San Diego, with a vision to lead the way into an era of exciting new developments in biology. One of the new and exciting things that's happened at UC San Diego is this brain activity mapping project, which was announced by the President of the United States, which is going to revolutionize our understanding of the human brain. People are starting to develop new ways to sense brain activity in living brains. By mapping those activity patterns, we can learn more about memory and learn more about the tragic situations when uh, memory starts to fade, so neurodegenerative diseases. And the more we learn about this in this new brain activity mapping project, the better we'll be able to understand and, and cure those diseases. And this brain activity mapping project was actually led uh, by some UC San Diego scientists. In part because of this, uh, there's going to be a new building on the UCSD campus, and part of that building is going to be devoted to this brain activity mapping project. There's also uh, a new initiative called the Quantitative Biology initiative that's mathematical modeling of biological systems. UCSD researchers in the area of quantitative biology are some of the best in the world and we're recruiting new faculty all the time. So one of the things that we're doing at UC San Diego to try to um, improve our educational experience for undergraduates and to achieve some of the goals that I was talking about is to build some new laboratories which will allow practical hands-on learning for our undergraduates. And this isn't going to be dissecting frogs, this is going to be learning the new and exciting techniques of genomics and proteomics and transcriptomics and applying those to practical real world problems so that our undergraduates when they first come in understand the reasons why to study biology. So we're going to have uh, more mathematical training for biologists because we have to teach our students the language of biology but more and more that language is going to be written in mathematical terms and so we have to teach our undergraduates how mathematical models are going to help us interpret biological systems which is going to be a big wave in the future. Another thing which is not a big wave in the future but uh, which I really want to emphasize as a personal passion for me is more information about evolution for all undergraduates not just biology undergraduates. And this has to be coupled with examples. We don't want people to just learn that Charles Darwin wrote a book in 1859. That's not helpful. Some of the things that I want to change at UCSD come from my uh, lifetime experiences. So um, I grew up in a small, fairly rural town in Missouri called Warrensburg, Missouri. And I was very lucky because in Warrensburg there was a very good library and my mom used to take me to the library every week. And even though it was a fairly isolated place, I could experience the larger world. I read history, science, science fiction, mysteries, any book I could get my hands on. And I was going to be drafted into the Army during the last few years of the Vietnam War. Instead, I decided to enlist in the Navy. And a few months later, I was on an aircraft carrier called the USS Enterprise off the coast of Vietnam, which was a pretty big cultural shift for me, going straight from Missouri to the USS Enterprise. But it gave me the opportunity to see how enormously qualified and intelligent some of those guys were, but they just didn't have the opportunities that, that came to me then and later. Some of those opportunities were having great teachers, so I'm passionate about education because I think teachers change our lives, change our students' lives. We have to teach them not only uh, biological facts and biological language, but the real world skills like learning how to learn, like learning how to work as a team, and learning how to communicate clearly, lead other people, those kind of skills that are just as important. It's one of the great things about America, and that's one of the things that's uh, created the great society that we have. We don't send our kids to madrasas and memorize religious texts. We introduce them to the wider world. This is one of the things that uh, is so great about UC San Diego, and other institutions of higher learning is by transmitting information, the truth and the newly discovered truths that we find out through research, uh, we do change the world 
slowly from generation to generation and improve it. But it does take 10, 20, 30 years for those payoffs to come. Basic science is something that's absolutely essential to do. You have to understand how the brain works in order to uh, try to solve Alzheimer's. You have to understand how cells divide and replicate and make more cells so that you can understand how to cure cancer. And you have to do this basic research so that you can have these eventual practical benefits that translate to discoveries that help human health. So there's one discovery that was made at UC San Diego about 30 years ago, and it was made by a fellow named Gordon Sato, who was a professor here. They were trying to figure out how they could grow uh, human cells in a culture dish. But in order to do this, you have to have something that was, at the time, was called growth factors. Gordon and his colleagues um, helped to define some of the specific proteins that were growth factors and the proteins that they interacted with, that they touched and caused cells to grow. And in that process, they were able to develop a specific chemical that would neutralize, that would stop cancerous cells from growing, and specifically. So at the time Gordon was doing this, it was basic research. We didn't know how it was going to pay off in anti-cancer drugs. He didn't know either. Uh, but it has paid off. Uh, one way it's paid off is about $60 million that has gone to the University of California, which has helped support students. But that's one of the reasons we're starting some of these new research initiatives like quantitative biology. Our belief is that quantitative biology, by making these mathematical models of biological systems, which are going to get increasingly better and better, is going to help accelerate this path from basic science to payoffs in better drugs, better treatments for disease. One of the reasons why I think it's exciting for students to come to UC San Diego is because we're doing incredible research in a variety, basic research in a variety of areas, brain mapping, quantitative biology, the discovery of new biofuels, and we have a great tradition of undergraduates working in those basic science research labs that allows them to experience the most up-to-date research and make those discoveries, those discoveries that will transform not only their lives because of the excitement it brings, but also help to change society for the better, either by changing human health or by changing the environment. One of the things that I always tell entering graduate students, which in part stems from my experience in small town Missouri, is that our basic research and their salaries when they're graduate students and their tuition while they're graduate students are largely paid for by the U.S. taxpayers. There are carpenters out there. There are plumbers out there. There are people working as checkout clerks. And their taxes are paying for you to make basic discoveries that are going to help their children and their grandchildren have a better life. And since those taxpayers are paying for you to do basic research, you have a real responsibility to work hard, think hard, all the time, because those people are counting on you so that their children will have a better life. And so you have this incredible responsibility that you have to fulfill. We're not a smug, self-satisfied place, a place that was founded two or three hundred, a university was founded two or three hundred years ago, and we look back on our great past and think how super we are. UC San Diego was only founded about 50 years ago. We're always looking toward the future. UC San Diego is a collaborative place where people work together. And that's why we're bringing some of the most exciting new biologists to UC San Diego, because they know that's the spirit of the place.